traditional Indonesian herbal remedies more widely known amongst the Malay community here. But according to the owner of this shop, their clientele today is made up of Europeans, Americans, Japanese and people of various races in Singapore. Today we meet someone who calls herself a modern medicine woman of sorts. She's an expert who's been studying Jamu for decades. And she's going to tell us what exactly are in those bottles of pills and packages. 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning, Nasli Anwari is opening her gates to the public, who are here for a two and a half hour Jamu workshop. Yes. Jamu can make your tummy flat, it can take away gas, digestive fungus. Jamu is uh, a very ancient uh, plant remedies art, actually. It's traditional and it originated on the island of Java. Ethnic, um, cultured, uh, cultural people have used this for home care, basically. You go into the jungle or go into your garden, pick a few culinary herbs, gingers, turmeric, galangal. Uh, brew them or, or juice them and it's usually for digestive health so my feeling is that if digestively you're fine you know no bloat no gas and uh, your bowel movements are great and it makes you a better person so it's preventive health care more than anything else the 63 year old woman is of mixed heritage her mother is Eurasian her father Pakistani Nasli grew up with the influence of Jammu from a young age. Jammu. I grew up with Jammu. My mother, you know, taught me Jammu. When I was growing up, you know, if we had a fever, my mother would just concoct um, um, some raw onions, uh, shallots, and she would mix that up with uh, eau de cologne, actually, and some lime, and she would massage that into our heads. I used to notice my mother being visited by the sweet Malay ladies who brought her all kinds of dried leaves, twigs, and actually what it is, it's just a, um, a collection of uh, different jamu herbs. This is put into a pot and I watch her concoct this, boiling this horrible, gruesome looking black sooty uh, drink and drinking it. So I was always very intrigued with that. According to Nasli, Jamu in the Javanese language means different tonics for different conditions, consisting of about 30 different edible plants. Yeah, and you see some shavings of wood. But as Nasli grew into adulthood, she soon forgot all about Jamu. It was the birth of a son that led her back to the ancient remedy. My son, Sean, came when I was 40. So I had a, you know, a double whammy. I was post-menopausing. Now I can see that that was the reason. And then I had, uh, you know, these two very young children, and uh, having to deal with the uh, postpartum problems that came with childbirth. I felt bloated. I felt unattractive, and um, I was depressed, and I had very low energy, and I had two little babies to look after. So. As I went into my menopause in my 50s, early 50s, I started to use Jammu much more intensely and that really, really saved me. With a background as a horticulturalist, Nasli started experimenting and concocting her own herbal medicine and beauty products, incorporating Jammu into her lifestyle. Okay, thanks. Bye, see you. I'll see you again. This is my uh, daily routine, and this is what I would use twice a day to clean my skin. Since my early 50s, I threw everything out, all my products, and um, I use an aspect of Jamu, which is what they call Lulor. Lulor is really a scrub, a skin scrub. Which is also a great spice. So Lulu is a mixture of turmeric powder, some spices, and a base of rice flour, which we all know is a very beautiful um, whitening and softening agent for, for the skin. I make my own face scrub, and I, I clean my makeup off with uh, coconut oil, and um, clean it off further with some apple cider vinegar. Yeah, nice clean skin. 
Well, I've made a bowl full, which will last me for about three to four days. And uh, I'll just keep this in the toilet on my um, vanity shelf. Jama plays a huge role in Nasli's daily diet as well. I use a lot of culinary herbs in my salads because it gives you that little whack. And I make a lot of uh, old-style salads, like um, the Malay salads, or they call it ulam uh, krabu, which is really delicious with uh, some coconut, desiccated coconuts in it. The jamu that has really sustained me all these years is called a jamu that's called kungit asam. And this is uh, the juice which I extract from turmeric diluted with water or with lemons and tamarind water and that's what I have first thing in the morning. It's very cleansing and astringent and it cleans your gut and makes you feel very refreshed. Today Nasli has sent all her diet and beauty regime to a plant-based one and is making it her profession to share a knowledge of Jamu in workshops and consultation sessions. The water has to be cooled down and gone past the boiling point. So you don't put it over the stove in a fire, you kill the enzymes. So here we go, tea. Pour it in. You can still see the steam coming up. And with this steam, that's aromatherapy. Although a few jamu shops still exist today, Nazli says they're turning into pharmacies with pills and processed packages. For her, it's still best to be able to enjoy a fresh glass of jamu tonic and a homemade jamu salad every day.